Hey everyone! So I have a really big surprise for you all. Uh, this is something that I have been wanting to do since basically the beginning of Moon Clan, and that is the opportunity for you guys to take Moon Clan cats and put them in your own games and play with them and make, you know, AUs or whatever you want. You could, I know there's some people, some mods that want to take holly and wet shine and make them immortal and you guys can do that too now if you want you can take your favorite cats you can make them totally immortal you can mess with the timeline as much as you want you could take some cats that are loners maybe and play through their beginnings from kit hood there's so many possibilities and i'm so excited to be able to share this with you guys so uh, this is going to be a bit of a tutorial <laughs> because not only is it kind of a lot to take in especially if you don't know the very first thing about coding i'm really bad at explaining things through text <laughs> and i'm also a visual learner which i'm sure some of you are as well so i'm hoping that this video will kind of function as a tutorial for you guys so the very first thing you need to do um, is you need to decide if you want to just import a few cats into a clan that you're already playing as. Say if you have a clan named like Pi Clan. <laughs> so say you have Pi Clan, you've been playing in it for a while, but you are a major fan of Shimmerberry and you want him in your clan. Then you don't need to do this step at all. But if you want to make your own AU Moon Clan, like just straight off the bat just nice and fresh then you need to go ahead and make a clan for that so I'm gonna do that real fast because I do need to make a clan let's call this lunar clan <laughs> it's the same thing right it's the name clan and then I'm gonna have to just pick all of these cats these don't matter we're gonna get rid of them ASAP <laughs> so just grab all these cats done continue save clan close this we'll come back to that later so the very first thing you need to do then is I have this Google Doc that I will link below. It should explain everything to you. Um, it'll take you step by step through what you need to do. The first thing is if you want to take any cats into your clan and you want to edit them, then you will need this guide by Cat and Cuff. I'm assuming that's how you say their name. I'm sorry if it's not. They are on the Clan Gen Discord and they made a Google Doc um, kind of explaining every bit of code. <laughs> So if you go and you see, let me go ahead and open. So Lunar Cats, you guys will see all of this code. And that could be really overwhelming. You might be like, what the heck is that? I don't know what any of this means. That's what this guide is here for. So if you look, for example, these numbers right here are part A. They correspond to part A. And that is the cat's ID number. So this is unique to that cat and you will need it for the text file later. Um, this part right here is their name, their prefix, and their suffix. No matter what age the cat is, their, their prefix and their suffix should be the same. If they're a kitten, the code will automatically override it to be like Marsh Kit. Or if they're an apprentice, the game will override it to be Marsh Paw. But his name has always been Marsh Drop in the code. So it'll update automatically when he gets older. There's gender, their role, their age. Everything you need to know is here. And I would highly recommend going through this guide while you're editing so you know what needs to be changed, where you can find it, what you can change it to, etc. Hopefully you won't break the game that way. <laughs> and then step two, what you want to do is grab the codes for the cats that you want to import. So we're going to go ahead and just delete all of these cats because we do not need them anymore. We're going to take in, let's see, what about if Prickle Flower was our leader so i have these set up by the way on the side that you can just click on a cat and you can go to their code easy peasy it's going to be a fast way to find whatever cat you're looking for so prickle flower we have her code and we're going to paste that right there now the order doesn't really matter that just decides how the cats are going to show up in the clan list like in what order they're going to show up in so prickle flower will always show up as the first cat so she's going to be our leader and then how about we take Thunder Spot. I'm just going to take all the cats that died too young and that I missed. We'll take Thunder Spot and we'll take Wet Shine. Um, those will be our three cats, but you guys, I had this issue before and it took me like 20 minutes to figure out what, what problem I had. 
you need to make sure that you have a star clan cat i'm just going to go ahead and take skyleg because he's already our star clan cat um, if you do not have one in the game then your game will break <laughs> we have everyone now i'm going to edit them so that prickle flower and thunder spot are not dead <laughs> and that Woodshine is not an elder. Now we want her to be leader, so we're gonna replace warrior to leader. So this true right here should be changed to false because that is basically saying, is this cat dead? True means yes, false means no. And now here's the other thing too with this coding that can get a little bit overwhelming. Um, if you are changing certain things in the code, there are times where you will need to change another thing in the code. So just simply saying that prickle is no longer dead is not sufficient we need to go to where this nine is and we need to change that to a zero because that corresponds to how many moons they've been dead for prickle is no longer dead so she's been dead for zero moon now we need to do the same thing for thunder spot we're gonna leave her deputy i think that's cute um but we need to change this true to false and now these are calf sensitive so you need to make sure that you're putting it in this exact way with the f capitalized and nothing else and we're going to change this nine to a zero. Wet shine, we're going to change him an adult. And he'll be, oops, see, and I put that in the wrong way. So because elder is both a role and an age, we need to make sure that we put the role first and then the age afterwards. So we'll make him a warrior and then an adult. And now because we've changed him to an adult, we need to go find his actual age which i believe is 121 and we need to change that to under spots 81 so we'll make him 80 and we're going to change this to none because i believe that is i believe that's his mate and we do not have a rubble skip in this game so we need to change that to none and then sky lake should be fine okay so this should all be good so i'm going to go ahead and save that and now you also need to make sure by the way um, I do have this in our troubleshooting thing, but if you are taking a cat and changing their age, um, then you also need to be aware that there are certain parts of the code that also need to be changed. So if you're taking a cat from an adult down to a kitten, you need to make sure that you change their personality um, because adult cats have different personality traits from the kittens. And you also need to be sure that you're changing how much skill XP they have because kittens do not have any skill XP. And now the next step, we have all of our codes imported in. The next step is to open up our text file that goes along with this. And now you'll see there are quite a few lines of code and I'll go ahead and tell you what these all are. So the first one is the prefix of your clan name, which for us right now is Lunar. The zero is how many moons old that clan is. This number right here is our leader's uh, code number, which for us is going to be prickle. So we're going to go ahead and copy that and paste it in there. The nine is how many lives they have, but currently clan gen does not do anything with how many lives the leader has. So just leave that as a nine. Um, I'm uncertain what the zero is for. <laughs> so just don't touch that. Leave it how it is. The game will update. Um, if it needs to. So now we need to do the next one right here is this is the number for your deputy. So we're going to import Thunderspot. And the third one is your medicine cat. Oh, which we don't have. So we're going to go ahead and for now we'll make Wet Shine the medicine cat. And we'll go ahead and import his code. This one is for your Star Clan guide the cat that your game starts with. So we'll go ahead and we'll import Skylake's code there. And the very last thing you need to do is you need to take all of the codes for all of the cats that are in your game and you need to paste them down here, like so. So we'll go ahead and save that, we'll save this, and now, fingers crossed, <laughs> this should work. So you go ahead and launch your game. You can hit continue. And there you go. Now we have Prickle Star, we have Wet Shine as our medicine cat, and we have Thunder Spot as our deputy. And now we can pick mates. Oops, I do not want to make a uh, Prickle Flower. 
and we can just go ahead and play the game as normal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wedshine was murdered. Not a surprise, but there you guys go. Hopefully that tutorial helped you out. If you guys have any questions or your game's just not working for whatever reason, then what I would suggest first is going to the stock because I have a troubleshooting section. So maybe if you're having like a common issue, you'll be able to find it here and figure out what you did wrong. But this troubleshooting really just came from me and Nas debugging this in the very beginning. So these are just things that we ran into. There might be something that you're running into that we don't have an answer for here yet. So if you can't find an answer and you don't know what's wrong, then you can totally leave a comment in this video. Or if you're part of the Discord server, we do have a channel where you can ask questions and get some help. But yeah, I, I hope you guys are able to do this. And I'm really excited to hear about all the crazy adventures you have with your own Moon Clan. Um, thank you to Nas for helping me out with this. I super appreciate your help. And I will see you guys for the next video. Bye!